that huh? you're talking in your sleep. I'll go sleep. Oh, you say Martin. Martin. Who's Martin? Come on. Right. Do you want to go to bed or do you want to watch some server here? Because. Yeah, I'm watching, I'm watching. Well, let's watch. Let's watch the bush like a trial Next up on ITV2, we take a quick look behind the scenes at a new reality TV show with chickens. Hi, I'm Michelle and I'm the executive producer on Cooped Up. I came up with the idea during the last Covid lockdown. I was stuck at home with my children who were going feral and driving me insane. I was under a lot of pressure to come up with new TV ideas and this one just popped into my head. The avian flu pandemic created the perfect opportunity to get the show underway. We've replaced humans with hens for Cooped Up. Hiya, I'm James and I'm the production manager on Cooped Up. What I'm doing is I'm just creating the perimeter fence. It's really important that no birds get in here and the hens can't get out. So that's what I'm doing today is just creating this enclosure so they can stretch their legs, you know, flap their wings and stuff. One of the things I'm looking forward to and cooped up is something called the pecking order. And what that means is when two hens get to the bottom of the pecking order, they'll sort out between them. You at home get to vote out and you can call a number, ring in and say, I would like this hen to get booted out and go to slaughter. <laughs> Can't wait. Another thing about cooped up is the hen that lays the most eggs will avoid elimination. At the start of the month, we launched our new website, studioporrier.com. If you're a regular viewer, lately you'd have seen we have been busy making ceramics and fibre arts. We still have several items available and we will continue to add new items to the shop. So do sign up to our mailing list to be the first to know about updates and discounts. Off to the post office to post the Studio Parrier orders and get them all on their way. Where are they going? They are going to France, the USA and UK. And I think I've gained about five grey hairs dealing with uh, the process. Let's go! Who's oh. been in here? A bit tight. Who's been driving? Now, obviously we live in France, selling it to France is very simple, straightforward and we can just get that done. Selling it uh, internationally is obviously we know we have an international audience through YouTube um, but it's a little bit more, um, it just requires a bit more paperwork and um, but hopefully now these first ones we, 
Rebecca's been working on with the VAT for the UK, which you have to charge now post Brexit. It's been applying for all the numbers you need to for exports and making sure we're filling in the forms correctly so that the parcel should get to everyone smoothly without being held up or delays or things like that in customs. So if you are expecting a parcel from us, please do let us know when you get it. That it's all gone through smoothly. We're coming to the end of the year now, it's the middle of November, so we thought we'd just give you a quick tour to tell you what our plans are for next year in the garden and the houses. So the bed behind me is the one that Brooke created at the start of the year and it's getting there. It's still got a lot of work to do, a lot more plants to get established, but we've planted quite a few bulbs so hopefully in the spring we'll have lots of lovely daffodils and tulips. So here Brooke created an extra compost bin. Um, which is quite a big one and it's looking good and hopefully come spring we'll have some compost ready to use on the beds. The plan though is actually to get rid of this one here and to create a whole big bay down the end over here for real maximum compost production. Here we've got the herb bed, still looking herby. The monk's cress is ginormous, the parsley's massive and the marigolds are still just about going. This celery bed is also doing really well and now we just need some celery recipes. So let us know if you've got any below. It's been quite windy. So I planted the garlic about a month ago and it's already coming up and you can see the shoots. So hopefully lots of garlic come the summer. There's not too much in the potager at the moment, but you can see here we've got some lovely broccoli ready to harvest. Go ahead and harvest it. I don't have my knife. You do, you can just snap it. And there's a caterpillar there, you've got to harvest it quickly, there's a caterpillar on it. It went with a whole lot. Well, that's where it came off. <laughs> oh, there is a big caterpillar. We haven't had much time to spend out here recently, so it is looking a little bit weedy and in need of some attention. But the fennel is still going really well and we've also got some cabbages coming along really nicely over there. Our plan for next year is to have a path along here and then here we'll have a raised bed, slightly raised, um, where we're going to plant some flowers and companion planting and lots of exciting things that can grow up the fence. You may have seen on another video us laying down the silage tarp. So we got this in order to cover this area over winter and kill off the weeds, kill off the cooch grass, or at least some of it, and hopefully make an easier time next year as we expand into this area with lots more vegetable beds. Just spotted some berries, and the best part is we don't have the boys with us, so we can actually eat them. There you go, Brooke. Treat yourself to that big one. Mmm. That is delicious. Mm. So the barn is a really big project, but one that we would love to tackle next year, hopefully. We're going to get some quotes in for the beams at either end. They both need replacing, um, and that's a big job for some professionals. And then we will need to put down some kind of flooring, point the back wall, Brooke's favourite job. Uh, the electrics are almost ready to go. That's just connected, so that'll be quite simple. And then it's an amazing big space where we can eat, play, plant up seedlings, harvest vegetables, so many opportunities. So we'd like to landscape this area a bit more. One day, hopefully this will be mine and Brooke's bedroom so we can come out and it'll be a lovely little area to sit in. We're gonna take up the top layer of the concrete here and then we're thinking maybe um, of crushing up some of the limestone that we've got to create a little patio area. However, we're a bit worried that it might go green over time. So if you have any experience, let us know with that. Um, but then, yes, imagine it. Chairs to relax in, nice fire pit, and then wood-fired hot tub. <laughs> we'll call that 2030. Who's making the hot tub? Who's, we're not buying the hot tub, are we? I'm sure you can make one. There's loads of DIY videos on it. Um, we haven't been able to get the stump out yet but it's 
it's so rotten in the middle it gets wider and wider every time you can just keep chipping away at bits hopefully over time it'll go down brooks cut it right down so that it's not too obvious and in the way and then his lovely landscaping job here with here was is the soak away for the drain system here so we're gonna just gonna sprinkle some grass seed for now long-term plan some lovely swooping flower beds but um for now we've got enough to keep us going so this summer we've had the chickens completely free range and they've loved it and most of the time it's been nice but when you're trying to eat they're a bit of a pest so <laughs> we were thinking of containing them somehow with the avian flu we've had to have them undercover so they're in this little area um, but it just feels a bit mean compared to what they're used to so for now they're there what we're thinking next year though is creating a big fence right down here all the way down to here um, and across so they've got a nice big area they're contained though they can't dig up all the plants and they can't pick the children We recently filmed a tour of our Gite and we are currently working out how best to utilise the space for both future guests but also for our studio. The film is available on our Discord channel. By joining you get the opportunity to ask us questions, talk with like-minded individuals and see extra content. Completely free to join so check out the link in the description below and hopefully we will see you there.